This video workflow in SpaceMaker is going to take you through the AI tool to generate some apartment units like the, the ones here. Um, this one is all based on view analysis and the whole idea is that the SpaceMaker Explore tool, which is the AI, AI feature, will go and generate these units to maximize views to this park that I've set up here and this waterway that I've set up here. So um, back to the design, I'll do this uh, from scratch. I'm going to do this all live. I'm not going to use any editing tools to fine tune this. I'm just going to record and shoot. Here we have our site here. Um, I have this list as option A in my design. For setting up this particular type of analysis, we have our layers. And in our layers here, I've generated two components for view to area. So I've just... Um, showing that I have this waterway here. Um, there's a railway track here, which um, I'll look at in a later tutorial. And I've also included um, the park area here. Um, over here on the site, uh, some projects by Bjarke Engels. Um, this is actually the mountain project in Copenhagen and one of his earlier uh, projects, which he uh, got a few awards from. So what I've done is I've chosen this site here demolish the buildings on it and I'm going to use this as my uh, site for doing space maker design options and analysis. So to get started we have this option here and I want to go to the explore tool. So in explore you're going to have some default settings and you're going to be able to move from the height study drop down to do the site study. The default settings we have here are the building width, we have the tower building dimension, and then we have the division line buffer between the apartments. So if you're looking at um, 12 by 12, you allow maybe 2 meters for the corridor, 5 meters deep for each apartment, uh, 5 times 12, which will give you... What is that? 60 square meters. That's you know good good starting point for maybe two bed apartments. One generous one bed apartments. Here we have um, a different layout type. So if you turn these on and off, um, these will allow you to generate different options here. We're going to go for varied for the heights, and I want to look at um, three, five and eight and we can use daylight sunlight and in this instance we're going to use view we also have the unit so i want to look at a custom mix here um so so based on these rough calculations i don't want anything to be 40 square meters um, a lot of this is going to be around the 60 square meter mark so i'll go 40 40 um and 20, which will give me my, my ratio of 100 uh, for the percentage. And now what I'm going to do is hit generate. Um, again, this is going to be all live, no edits. So this will go and generate all the different options for me here. So typically this will do it with under a minute. Um, we can also sort... Um, because this is in the, the Danish region, it's uh, using um, these abbreviations. So if you're doing this in uh, the Western part of the world, you have GFI, GFA and GIA. You can also uh, filter through these options as well. Um, I just want to bring up everything here. You can see I've got 62 options. It's been a pretty quick, quick few seconds to generate these. Um, and of course, the ones on the top are going to give us... Um, the most amount of, of units. So I'll choose something here that might be of interest. So this one here will generate uh, these units. I can click on some of the other ones here and I can maybe you know have them as, as favorites here. See it's showing up in the, the favorites. Um, but I think uh, either this one or this one, probably this one looks interesting and maybe this one. I'll go for, for this one. So here, um, I can go back and uh, edit the input on this one. I'm going to just go straight in and add this to the proposal list. Um, so my previous one I had was option A. 
this one I will now rename as option B and I can now move out of the explore tab into design and this will now give me the starting base of, of my units. So each one of these should have some view or some decent aspect between one unit to the next unit. It's also um, added a division line here to break up the site a little bit. Um, again, I could do a little bit more with the site set up here. There is a road going through it, so I could potentially um, edit that out and have a road in there as well. Uh, what I want to do now is test this AI design and see how it works with the views from each apartment. So here in the Analyze tab, this will allow us to look at views to uh, different areas or distance between units. So there's a quick one here which will do the distance. Uh, up here you'll note there is a distance tool and there is uh, an inspect tool. There's also the view to area tool, um, and you can see the areas I have here, um, one being the water area, and then one being the um, apartment area. This gives me the uh, ratio of which facade is getting the views, and then um, the amount of units that uh, are getting the views. So these are quite good little, little stats. Um, and again, I can also click on the inspect tool and this will instantly show me um, the views that each one of these units are getting. Now, some of them may be fortunate enough, like this one here, to have dual aspect. So this can have views both to the park and to the waterways, which may uh, have a premium for a developer here. So some really um, handy little tools to put uh, maybe monetary value on, on each unit. Um, now the other one we have here is the, the distance and again this is color coded so um, you can see down here we're getting um, low distances between the units so when you go and inspect you'll see here okay it's 63 meters so it's not, not too bad. Um, again you could have a rooftop garden here, you could plant out a courtyard, maybe the uh, ground floor level could be retail or storage or parking um, so you can manipulate these areas which maybe don't get the views that you want to not be um, apartments but more admin facilities so that's the the simple tool and um, with that you can also um, fine tune anything in the design as well so let's say you want to make some adjustments to those those ground floor uh, units. I can go through and um, select more units. I can go here and go to, to the, the building functions. So at the moment, um, this one here is looking at it being residential, but maybe this is commercial. So what I can do here is uh, hold down shift and grab the units which maybe don't need views and turn them into commercial. So for this particular development, uh, could be office space, could be community space, could be uh, retail space to service different areas, you can go and uh, customize that as, as need be um, based on the feedback you're getting from, from the design. So some handy little tools here, um, and again, this is all just shown with the uh, building colors and the unit sizes, and of course, you can see in real time the shadows it cast. But um, today, we were just quickly looking at, just to recap, the Explore tool. We use the Explore tool with the, um, not the height study, we use the site study, and we left it on the defaults here. We clicked on varied, we adjusted the ratios for the story heights and we used the view to area tool. We also um, customized the apartment mix and then we generated numerous designs which we did analysis with using the analysis tab here under the view study 
and we looked at the distance between the units and the views to area. So that's a quick 10-minute uh, tutorial on how to use SpaceMaker to quickly um, run through different design options using AI and then testing them with the uh, analysis tools to see how they actually work.